Hey guys, so today I'm here with a video talking a little bit about the latest Apple firmware update. So in case you didn't know, Apple today released iOS 4.0.2 for the iPhone and iPod Touch, as well as iOS 3.2.2 for the iPad. Now these updates are literally consist of nothing but fixing the jailbreak me exploit. Um, now jailbreak me is probably the easiest jailbreak ever. It's super simple. You just open up Safari. However, if you update your device, you will no longer be able to use jailbreak me. Um, at least for the current time unless they update it, but it really guys just don't update because it could be a very long time before we can actually go ahead and do it. Now as always there are a lot of people who accidentally update or weren't paying attention or whatever so I'm going to go ahead and show you there is one way to go ahead and jailbreak, re-jailbreak it back if you are on 4.0.2. Um, now this actually uses Red Snow. Um, now Red Snow is actually one of my favorite jailbreaking programs and it's really, it's really pretty simple. Um, I've actually done a video on Red Snow before and this is the same kind of Red Snow but the, the, but the way you do it is just a little bit different. So if you need to go ahead and jailbreak I will go ahead and just continue watching the video and I will show you in just a second. However there's one major problem with this. If you do want to jailbreak on 4.0.2, then there's only a couple devices that it supports. Basically, if you're on 4.0.2, the only devices you can jailbreak are the iPhone 3G, all models of the iPhone 3G, as well as the original iPod Touch 2G MB model. Okay, so if you have an MC model, iPod Touch, um, an iPhone 3GS, an iPhone 4, um, an iPad or even an iPod Touch 3rd generation, you will not be able to jailbreak if you're on 4.0.2, period. Uh, now, I'm sure that there will be a jailbreak maybe in a week, probably in a month or two months or a while, but currently you're going to be totally locked out of jailbreaking. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and show you, otherwise you, know, you can just quit watching the video now if you're just you know staying on your current firmware. But if for whatever reason you do need to go ahead and jailbreak on 4.1, I'm sorry, 4.0.2, just go ahead and continue watching the video. Okay, so before we begin, I do want to make really clear that this was only going to work if you have an iPhone 3G or an iPod Touch 2G with the MB model, okay? Now if you have any other device, whether it's an iPad, an iPhone, anything else other than those two very specific devices, this will not work, okay? So I just want to be really clear, if you have any other device, you are going to have to wait. But if you do have one of these two devices, it's not that hard to jailbreak. So you're going to need two things. First, you're going to need your iPod or iPhone firmware. And this is not going to be 4.0.2. You're going to need the iPod or iPhone 4.0 firmware. Okay, so you more than likely are going to already have this on your computer. If not, just Google it. It's really simple. You should be able to find it, no problem. Okay, so once you have the firmware, preferably on your desktop, but it's not a big deal, then you're going to need Red Snow. So let me just go ahead and show you really quickly here. So all you need to do is go to the link in the description, and it will take you to the download page for Red Snow. Um, so this is really simple. I do recommend reading through it. It's, it's always a good idea to go ahead and read, you know, extra through it. But again, guys, I'm going to explain all this to you pretty much, so it's not a big deal. So just come to the bottom, and either go to the download links for OS X or Windows. So just pick whichever you want, and that's all good. So now let's go ahead and open up Red Snow. Now what you're going to need to do is browse for your firmware. And then you're going to need to go ahead and pick out that firmware that you just downloaded or you found on your computer or whatever, the 4.0 firmware. So go ahead and hit open. Give it just a moment. Then it will ask if it's an MB model or an MC. It is, you, now, obviously, this will not work with the MC, so you do need an MB. So just go ahead and click No. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and hit Next. We'll go ahead and download the jailbreak data, very simply. There we go. Okay, so now guys, it is very, very simple. All you need to do is go ahead, obviously keep, make sure Install City is uh, hooked up, and then the rest of these are entirely optional. I'll just go ahead and just go through them really quickly. So you can do verbose boot, which basically will allow you to go ahead and instead of just looking at the picture or a boot logo, it's actually going to show you the text as stuff loads. It's not a big deal, but if you want, you can go ahead and do it. You can go ahead and upload a custom boot logo or a custom recovery logo, as well as you can enable multitasking, home screen wallpaper, and battery percentage. Now, I will mention that if you want to enable any of these three, they will tend to slow your device down. So, you know, do it at your own risk. I have them all enabled on mine, but a lot of people don't want to deal with, you know, it being slow. So, you know, just pick whatever you want. So, then all you have to do is click Next. Now, you will need to put your device into DFU mode. To do this, simply plug your iPod or iPhone into the computer, and then go ahead and hold the power button. Wait until it says Slide to Shut Off, then go ahead and do that. Okay, so once you've done this, go ahead and click next and just follow the very simple instructions telling you how to get into DFU mode. It's not that hard, and if you do drop a button or something like that, it's not really a big deal. Just go ahead, it will reboot and just redo the cycle again. 
Okay guys, so that's it for my tutorial showing you how to jailbreak your iPhone 3G or iPod Touch 2G on iOS 4.0.2. Okay, guys. So again, I do really want to stress this: if you're not already on 4.0.2, if you didn't do it by accident, do not update because there really is no reason to do it. Um, so, guys, this is just you know a backup plan in case you had a problem, whatever. Go ahead and just run through Red Snow. Otherwise, guys, just stay clear of it and you'll be just fine. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching.